Marcus Conti reporting. I play a little song. It seems like everything's falling apart in the world, right? You know, there's nothing we can do about it. Enjoy the ride, man. It's like that scene in the Titanic. Remember in the Titanic when the guys, right there, the guys on the uh, the violin players on the boat, the boat's going down, but they're they're still singing, man. They're fucking singing. Man. You got all this shit going on in the world right now, man. What do we got? All kinds of shit. All kinds of shit. I'm gonna talk about talk about. Um, Yellow vests, the government shutdown, and all that's going on. Brexit. Uh, so right now, I just play the song. Got to look at the words so I don't remember this shit. That's just a rewrite. This is an original song. I sit and wait for the day to come when I will be so great. Everything in the world in harmony Awake Like a brand new day Life is torture When I'm a slave to what they call the new world order No God left to change would I see Right in front of me Someday, someday We will sail away from here And touch the sky With open heart and open mind Someday, someday We will celebrate I feel my heart begin to drop into the zone Where I am never alone I feel at one Higher than I've ever been Oh yeah With open heart and open mind Someday, someday We will celebrate Alright man, shit came from out of nowhere Forgot all about that song. Ah, uh, sometimes it's in the rewrite, you know, like you got a song, right? Songwriters will know what I'm talking about. Let's just get adjust the shit so I look alright. Ah, there we are. There we are. There we are. There we are. So Marcus Conti reporting. <laughs> Sorry for the noise. So uh there's a lot of shit a lot of shit going on, man. So I'm just in that kind of mood right now, you know. It's just like nothing really makes sense anymore. And fucking everything's falling apart, right? Shit is falling apart. Brexit. We got the Brexit vote at 2 p.m. right, and uh, it, it brings up this book right here. If you, you guys, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give you no religion. It's not religious. It's not religious. It's not at all religious. It's, it's a, it is a, a Buddhist nun. You remember this lady, Pema Chodron? I love this lady, man. It's fucking. Everybody has something to say, but this, this lady's an exceptional. This may sum up what I'm trying to... Well, I was trying to say in my song, but failed because the Buddhists figured it out 5,000 years ago, 3,000 years ago. Check this out. In a non-theistic state of mind, abandoning hope is an affirmation. The beginning of the beginning. You could even put abandon hope on your refrigerator door instead of the more conventional aspirations like every day, in every way, I'm getting better and better. Right? Can you identify with that? Hope and fear come from feeling that we lack something. 
They come from a sense of poverty. We can't simply relax with ourselves. We hold on to hope, and hope robs us of the present moment. Damn, I always knew that shit. We feel that someone else knows what's going on, but that, there's, but, there's, there's, but that there is something missing in us, and therefore something is lacking in our world. Once upon a time, on a, I was sitting on, uh, next to a man on an airplane who kept interrupting our conversation to take various pills. I asked him, what, what, what are you taking? He said, uh, he said, they're tranquilizers. I said, oh, are you nervous? He said, no, not now, but I think when I get home, I'm going to be. You can laugh at his story, but what happens with you when you begin to feel uneasy, unsettled, and queasy? What happens to you when you feel those things? Notice the panic. Notice that when you instantly grab for something, that grabbing is based on hope. Not grabbing is called hopelessness. Uh, see, these are the people, these, this kind of people, right? Pema Chodron is a, uh, I'm not sure if you know who she is. She's a, she's a, a Buddhist nun in the Shambhala tradition. And she uh, spent years, you know, she's, she's now approaching 80. I don't think she's going to live too much longer. But she's, um, she's, uh, she's kind of like a wizard, kind of like a, uh, a master of the of reality kind of thing like do people that sit <clears throat> quietly and meditate and explore the mind come out of those sits like uh what's the other guy uh Han han right? they come out with a with, with a, a sense of uh wisdom and and understanding of the uh the inner world and then they it expresses in the outer world you know so i, I get a lot out of those people you know and i do it a little bit of myself so, so let's talk about just just quickly. This is going to be quick, quick politics, man. I'm tired of politics right now. <laughs> I want to go write another song. All right, so, in, in politics right now, we have the yellow vests, right? They're in their tenth week, approaching the tenth week in France, right? It's spilling over into. We're seeing yellow vests pop up all over Europe. They're in Be Belgium, it appears. There's some in some some yellow vests going on in uh, in England. But uh, for the most part, it seems to be concentrated in France. Hold on a second. I got to shut the door. It's that goddamn heater again. <laughs> it makes that hissing sound. I got to shut it off, right? So yellow vests, right? Tenth week, right? Mostly in France, right? Spilling over into other parts. No signs of it in Germany. No signs of it in... Uh, uh, but it is it definitely, definitely signs of it in England. And um, with, with the uh, whole Brexit thing. So for, we're in the fourth week of... Uh, Oh, so what else can we say about yellow vests? Right. So there's there's a lot of uh, video floating around. Um, uh, Nathan Stoltman at uh, Lift the Veil did a, a great job, an amazing job at showing the uh, the the police brutality, right? Police attacking people all over France. There was a guy there, some French guy put out some video, and uh, and uh, Nathan found it. Watch that uh, his last clip on. Yellow vest, very good, where you see the violence. However, I would like to see some of the singing and the dancing and the song, right? I mean, it, it, is important to, it is important to shine light on the fact that people are getting their heads cracked and, and there's blood and there's gore and the police are getting frustrated, right? It, it's, it's, it's at a boiling point. The police are pissed off, right? They're getting fucking rocks thrown at them and, you know, and, and, uh, Right, they're getting cursed out. They don't want to do that shit. They they wanted they didn't nobody signs up to be a cop to be to get shit thrown at. But now it's it's at the boiling point. They're either gonna lay down or they're gonna get more aggressive and it seems that they are getting more aggressive. So we're in the tenth week. I think, you know, if I would have suggest anything, I, I mean the run on the banks is still the the quintessential way to get them, right? Right? There's and there's other ways. All out boycott of of uh, of unnecessary items complete and utter boycott now again it's only it's most of the people involved that are heavily hit by this downturn are poor people and how can you sink a bank if you don't have money in the bank right but just it's something to think about if it should spread the the bank run is probably the uh, the single greatest uh, you know greatest way to bring them down really in my opinion so u.s government shutdown fourth week 
I had a laugh. Somebody put on 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 one of the threads down below in uh, in the comments and said that uh, that the that the 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 U.S. shutdown is Trump 4D chess, and he's he's doing it because he's going to use it to drain the swamp. Okay. Let's hope. Uh, that that's that's hope. That was roll the tape back and look at what hope means. You you're hoping on something happens and it it becomes almost delusional i mean you could speculate i know i know there's there's the secret the secret military tribunals and the, the secret court hearings and you know the sealed indictments i i know i know all about this stuff but it's it there's no there's no that's it could be street sweepers or something you don't know what the, what indictments if any uh but to say that trump is uh started it because of the wall they won't give him a wall so he he shuts the government down and now he's going to drain the swamp and it's it's ridiculous i mean it's connecting it's connecting dots that don't i mean if if that should if the shutdown the court 25 percent of the shutdown partial shutdown uh, and don't feel sorry for the federal workers they're getting paid they already got their deal uh, they're going to get paid so um but uh that, that I found that kind of funny, you know, <laughs> where it's hope, it's hopium. Ah, strung out on hopium, right? You hope, you hope that's what it is, but that's not really what it is. That's not what's going on, right? Government shutdown is because they won't give Trump his wall. Give the man his goddamn wall already, right? How many billions of dollars has the government pissed away, right, in in history? I mean, you know, one, five, where well, they got those, those, those fucking planes, they're a billion dollars each sitting in carriers somewhere we got like like i don't know we got like eight of them sell five and buy and build a wall right i can do it right why not because look we've got you know you can always knock the wall down right i suspect that 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 uh, the drug the drug infiltration into this country will not be affected whatsoever by any mexican wall right? because most of the drugs come in through ports of entry now everybody knows that but Trump's on TV saying 90% of the drugs come in through the Mexican border. It's simply not true, right? So give him his fucking wall already. Build the wall, keep the immigrants down, right? And then it, it's not going to, you're not, if you build a wall and keep the Mexicans out, you still have to enforce the, uh, the employment laws. That's the way you get rid of them, right? The people that are, are, are uh, uh, hiring illegals should be fined and, 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 uh, you know, you got to start rolling the heads, right? You got to start rolling the heads, right? It's just, it's bank, the bankers, right? They get away with murder, right? They're fucking. So Brexit, two months, two months before March, the deadline, right? Now, what is Brexit? Today, you're going to see a, a vote of no confidence at uh, what is, I think, 2 p.m. our time. So uh, vote of, if there's a vote of no confidence, if Parliament brings back a vote of no confidence, for Theresa May, the now sitting prime minister, she's out, right? She has 14 days or something. I don't know all the rules, but it's a bad thing if it happens. Now, our markets, Wall Street right now is up, and they're anticipating, the the, the street is anticipating that uh, Theresa May will, in fact, uh, maintain, will be safe, right? So if, if Theresa May gets knocked out, right, you're going to see the markets tank again, right? And that could be the that could be what we've been you know the, what we've been waiting for. I almost said it, right? Let's hope you, you, that could be the 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 because everything is in price, right? When markets start to go into a bear market, all of these events start to pop up, and they're not a result. They're not necessarily a result of the the event. The event is a, it's kind of the opposite. It's hard to explain. It's it's action reaction. So it will be interesting. Um, I think that the the shutdown is 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 just posturing and 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 it, all of the things. What do all three things have in common, right? The, the yellow vest movement, the U.S. shutdown, and the, and Brexit, right? What what is the what is the thing? What is the the thread that sews them all together? It's it's dissatisfaction with the system, right? It's not that the system is broke, right? You don't have to change. No one's. No one's advocating changing the system in the United States. Maybe the banking system, but not the the system of government, the the constitution, the the uh, branches of power. 
judicial, con Congress, Senate, and, and the executive. No one's saying tear down that system and put up some other system, right? What we're saying is that the, the, the banking system and the financial markets are what needs to be corrected, right? Because they don't serve the people anymore. They serve a very select few. In all three of these examples, the yellow vests, you're seeing it on steroids in France where the, the oligarchy has everything and just taxes them and, and you know, is, uh, is squeezing them to the point of they're not able to even live. And as well as in England, uh, you know, in, in Britain, it's the same story. I mean, people are talking about, you know, disastrous, uh, uh, abject poverty, you know, and uh, living, living, uh, it's it's just not the way the West was, you know. <laughs> it wasn't like that ten years ago, right? Shit, shit is going down the drain, and uh, things are falling apart, right? And it's a good thing, right? It's a good thing because you can't you can't you can't build a new thing, a new building. You can't build something new on the same land, right? With this old stupid ugly thing that's in the way, right? You got to get that old thing, knock it down, right? knock it down and and uh and, and build something uh new and exciting and keep talking about it and let it include all of the people or at least you know right marcus conti reporting